what was that juicy hometown high school rumor that turned out to be true, NSFW. That the biology teacher hated the principal so much, that he repeatedly set the class tarantula loose to sway her away from visiting his part of the school. That the girl in my class, had a sister a year older who had been locked in a closet, since she was 5 years old. Turned out to be true and mom and dad went to prison. The girl was mentally handicapped, and they just decided to lock her in the closet, and only let her out to clean out the closet. She ate in there, and defecated in a bucket. The super smart girl who got into all the top schools was so depressed at an Ivy League, because she was no longer the smartest person, and had to drop out after one semester. It was a big deal, because she scored an almost perfect SAT score, and was the first in our high school to go there. There was a rumor, that our rap economics teacher was having an affair with our married app US history teacher. Rumor only grew steam when she filed for divorce just before graduation. Two years after I graduated, my friend who worked at a daycare texted me a picture of the two of them dropping off her two kids. That this girl in grade 10 aged 15, 16 stabbed her father around Christmas time. Everyone was talking about it, and it turned out to be true. The administration would suspend anyone talking about it. Edit after going back and reading the article. Turns out the father was pronounced dead. Rumors also went around that she got locked up. Wrestling coach owned a funeral home. A kid did an internship there and said the coach was selling body parts. Nobody believed him. Well the coach is now in jail for selling organs and a shitload more things. Good old North Catholic. Edit yes I'm talking about Northeast Catholic in Philadelphia. As far as the kid doing the internship I should have called it an apprenticeship. I know he wanted to be a mortician. From what I recall he washed the cars and drove the limo, and after graduation he was going to get involved with the actual procedures. There were rumors that a mystery kid was pooping in the janitor's closets. Everyone thought it was a stupid rumor until the principal made an announcement about it. They never caught the kid. But a few years later I found out who it was. It turned out to be a friend of mine. I wasn't shocked. This kid was strange. You could dare him to do anything, and he would do it. He once ate part of a dissected frog on a dare. Another time he almost chugged bleach, but the teacher stopped him. Too long didn't read I was unknowingly friends with the mad pooper. That a 7th grader was bringing vodka in a water bottle, and would drink it throughout the day. Yeah turns out she brought 5, and got alcohol poisoning, and had to be rushed to the hospital. This one is really random. But here goes that there was a group of kids high school males. Mostly football players who called themselves the Ricky Lake Club who would hide out in different classrooms. Risking some serious detention time. To watch the late 90s Ricky Lake daytime talk show during lunch. A guy in my grade would constantly brag about this. And it became kind of a joke. But no one actually believed that it was a real thing because, I mean, come on. We'd all be going to the lunchroom and he'd go, sorry guys, it's Ricky time and run off. We all thought he was getting high or something. So it turns out, this did actually happen, very frequently, and there were a substantial group of people sneaking off to do it. As I'm told, one kid whose mom worked in the front office stole a master schedule of the classrooms, revealing when they would be empty also classrooms were never locked this was well before 9-11. Lunch was at noon. Which was when the show came on. The club president would be cc an email list each week saying what rooms to meet in on which days. Long story short, I was encouraged to join in the fun one day. So in disbelief I snuck out of the lunchroom to the back of the band room that chose an empty room that day which somehow had a TV and sure enough, there were about 25 high school age males going up a shit as quietly as possible at the TV watching the Ricky Leg show. Apparently this went on for all of my sophomore year without anyone finding out. Until Mr. Turner the computer teacher stumbled in on the group and the whole thing fell apart like the end of Goodfellas. Too long didn't read an underground club at my high school, called the Ricky Lake Club actually existed. Where students utilized a stolen master classroom schedule to successfully dodge school authorities. 
to watch the daytime talk show and quietly go up a shit in random classrooms around the school in secret for a whole school year. When my boyfriend was in high school there was a sub there who was subbing while finishing college whose mom had been a teacher at the school for years. This girl eventually ends up freaking half the football team and has pictures of her tits going around. They let her resign instead of pressing charges. I'm assuming because of her mom being there for so long and because some of the students were of age. So a couple of weeks ago we hired a new attorney at the law firm I work for. It's her. When I was 12, 13 years old, a girl and a boy from my class stopped going to school for some days. As silly kids as we were, we started joking that they were getting together to make babies and ended up missing the classes. The boy was just sick. The girl was actually pregnant. In high school my chemistry teacher came in high on acid. He ended up army crawling all the way down to the main office where the cops were called. 18 year old guy gets caught for jablusting a 14 year old in the upstairs hallway. For a whole 2 months or so no one was allowed upstairs during lunch. This happened last year, and this year all of the lockers and classes are moved downstairs. That a freshman girl popped her cherry with the wide part of a shampoo bottle. She took pictures, and sent said pictures to a group of guys in the sophomore class, telling them to keep it private. Everyone saw and she wound up transferring. There were rumors that the 40 year old bank teacher was romantically involved with a female student. All parties denied it and the administration bought it and apparently chalked it up to bullshit rumors from gossipy kids. A year after she graduated he left his wife and two kids and married her. Edit one of the really odd things about this situation is that this student was smoking hot and really popular. She was our school's female track star, captain of the volleyball team and an honors student. The teacher was middle aged, a little overweight and kind of an average looking nerdy type. She seemed like the type that would have her pick of any guy she wanted. She was really sweet and made friends with everyone, though so I'm sure she saw something in him that others didn't. We were all at bank camp. And it was rumored that one of the girls in my class 17 or so at the time was pregnant. I laughed at the idea when I heard it. Sure, she had a big, baggy shirt on each day. But despite all the jokes, band camp is generally tough on the body. 10 plus hours of marching each day, plus hours of music practice. She'd have to be far along far enough along that she'd know that submitting herself to that kind of exertion in the heat for a week was a bad idea. She left camp early and both she and her baby nearly died from what she put herself through. He was premature and had all sorts of problems. But thankfully, it turned out okay. The school and teachers tried to cover the pregnancy up because her mom was rather influential. But when she came back to school telling her story and showing off pictures, yeah. That the vice principal was cheating on his terminally ill wife with the cheerleading coach. It was true and everyone knew. He got promoted to principal, moved his office to the conference room and the library. Conveniently and simultaneously, the cheerleading coach became the librarian. Bath. Everyone was always talking about how the pre calculus teacher and the algebra teacher were screwing around. They were both married. But students would see them smiling at each other, even kissing in the halls. Turns out they were married to each other. She just kept her maiden name. I didn't find out till a few years later when I saw him on Facebook. I'm pretty sure they knew about the rumors and specifically said nothing to dispel them for shits and giggles. Guy stopped coming to school. We jokingly declared he must be dead. We'd later find out that he actually was dead. There was this one guy who was skinny with a shaved head and was always a bit loopy. We all figured he was on a lot of drugs. Turns out he was on drugs. Cancer drugs. He didn't make it to graduation. That there was a GameCube with Super Smash in it hidden somewhere in the school along with a tiny TV and four controllers. One day at lunch my friend told me he found it and I didn't believe him. I didn't even believe it existed. But I wanted it to be true. So I snuck out of lunch with him, and we went up through the theater, and up into the room. 
where they kept all the props for the plays and sure enough, behind this big dusty couch there she was. It was like finding treasure except better. From that day on we ate our lunches there and played smash until our thumbs hurt. That was senior year of high school and damn do I miss it. Decades ago. But one of the kids in the high school killed and ate a younger kid. Then he used the victim's skull in the school production of Hamlet. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 